Hey, it's great having you again on the channel. My name is Arnold, and today we're mastering the song in the element ways. Let's get started. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that the best way to get your song mastered is to send it over to a mastering engineer. But this this kind of method will get you started with mastering and perhaps get you a good master that can be played on the radio. I'll double click here and I'll breathe through where my song is stored where the song that's going to be mastering so i do have a folder on my desktop where i put all my tracks for mastering and today i'll be using this track for mastering so let me load it up all right so we got our mix down uh, let me make it white so this is my mix down so before anything else i'll i'll take a quick listen in the mix without adjusting anything i'll just take um listen Okay, great. So I've taken a listen to my whole track. And one thing that I always start with is to add uh, a meter. And I always use the the U loudness meter. It's a free meter. There is a paid version, but this this one actually does um, it does the work. So first thing I always do is to actually select select the most loud uh, I think the most loud part is around here so that's my most loud part so I'll play the track as I'm watching them so um one of the the main goals in mastering is to achieve um that loudness that that is needed on streaming platforms and um i would say the most desired loudness is around negative 14 lufs um and around negative 2 decibels uh the true pitch so whatever process i'm going to go through at the very end i would love to have a master that is loud enough and I would start with uh, with the low end because we, we want to make our low end very clear so um, low end clarity is very much um, essential in, in mastering um, this is a trap song um, so the low end we always want to make the low end very punchy so what i'll start with is to add a low end focus and you can use a mount band compressor but i would love to use the ozone um the ozone low end focus um, it actually gets me started very quickly with the low end um i'm going to show you the other way you can do this using a mount band compressor to achieve the same goal but um i think the 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 ozone low end focus works it better so i'll play the track um with the low end i would love to and with this you can if you want your song to be more punchy you can actually increase this i don't know which algorithm this plugin uses to do this kind of stuff but it is really dope so So I 
already got Milo and punching and um, yeah that's great so um, all right, actually let me move it up um, actually the chain also matters the way you add your plugins and stuff so another thing that I would love to do is to uh, actually put on an EQ and um, so with the EQ I love to use the the Reaper the Reaper EQ it's actually a nice one to start with and it's free so you I will leave the link in the description where you can get the Reaper uh, EQ it's actually a bundle that contains a lot of this so this is the EQ So I'm already seeing what's happening. So um, I love to make the uh, uh, the frequencies around uh, 1k to kind of pop out more. It actually um, changes the whole thing. So I would rather um, try it out and uh, experiment. You know, it's about the ears, and um, you can also do that. You will you'll be hearing changes as I as I'm tricking around these note um, these frequencies so yeah Actually, um, what I've just done is to actually interfere with the uh, the perceived signals or perceived loudness, stuff like that. So um, this actually brings out more presence uh, in the song or in the track. So um, boosting around 1k, the midi, the midi frequencies and uh, kind of the low end, get the low end in control. Um, actually that's the job remember in the first uh at the very start of the signal we do have the low end focus where we make the low end punching a lot more so this kind of um does that part whereby okay the low end is punching but it has to be under control so basically this is what the uh, what i'm doing with this eq so another thing that i'm going to do is to uh, control the dynamics and with controlling dynamics i would love to use the nova um just to cut out a little frequency i would i'll go with the nova my cp is really <laughs> so got my, my dynamics under control I'm pretty listening to some changes in the mix so I can bypass the effects uh, back and forth so that you can hear the difference thing that I can do is to actually apply a compressor 
in somehow um, I think I'll, I'll put it around here I'll go with the TDR compression Cotton love so um, this is also a nice tool for mastering so um, I'll just play around with the compression Actually, my, my, my CPU is really um, uh, crazy on, on these plugins, but what I'm doing here is actually trying to glue the whole mix up just um, if some frequencies are going upwards. So um, uh, there is a compression that is going on, just a soft compression around this. So I'll put, I think I'll put this up the signal, move up, and you see my, my, my. My CPU is really bugging out, but yeah. Um, the next thing to do here is to um, get a stereo output, um, mostly in the middle frequencies and in the high end. So, I'd love to go with the ozone ozone imager, and I think it's it's a free one. Ozone imager. All right, so I've got the image out, and for the case of my CPU, it kind of won't allow me to play um, the whole thing, but you can get the, the thing here. So what I always do, I know like the frequencies are always around 500 and around 4.8K. Um, so I will press the sterilize and I'll move it to something like 10.9. And I always want to use this so I remove the low end so in this case if I put this knob up it kind of gives the middle frequencies uh, stereo output and if I also do the same with the high end it will do the same so there is always a difference so I'm gonna try and play the song if it won't get clunky but um, So um at this point um where I got my 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 signal my mastering signal right um the last thing I always do to the signal is to add a limiter and uh, you know our main goal is to achieve a negative fourteen LFUs and around negative um negative two decibels. So um, the, these are some of the mastering uh, techniques that you can use in your song. Um, having some CPU problems and um, um, I won't be able to play the whole track but I'm going to export it and play it as an mp3 back here again so that you um, get to see how um, uh, the change with this in the real man I always want to go to the uh, 320 bit rate which actually gives a high quality and I'll export my mix Unfortunately, LMOMS doesn't allow MP3 files to be loaded up um, on a session. So I've put this in my player so that we could hear the difference. All right, so this is what we've been mastering, uh, the wave. change and yeah 
that makes it to the very end of this video and if you you enjoy the video and if you love the video and if you love any recommendation in the mastering you know we all learn things in the process we all learn new things from others so don't hesitate to put in the comment section and i would love to know how you um you master your songs in early moments but this is how i do it and for that i'm signing out and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i enjoy the family i'm trying to reach 1k so um it would be great if you subscribe and leave a like otherwise i'm signing out peace